some PR and also some Amazon orders and a bunch of different things and you guys really liked my unboxing from the last vlog so I thought I would show you guys all of the things that I got some of the things are upstairs so I'll show you guys after this this is an Amazon package if you guys remember in a vlog a few months ago I lost the blender thing of my Nutribullet and they don't have replacement so I had to just buy a whole new Nutribullet so it was actually on sale though on Amazon so I ordered some things from Urban Out Outfitters including vinyl record cleaner because my vinyls are pretty old from like high school and I think they definitely need a deep clean and I didn't want to clean it with like water or anything so I just got this stuff you're gonna love look what I ordered no way you know that my nose is always runny. I have always had a runny nose and allergies, so I'm always super low on tissues and I throw them around like it's a bad thing. Steph knows because whenever I go to her house, there's just tissues everywhere. And she gets so mad at me. Kiel also gets really mad at me about it. So I finished the Assassin's Blade. I'm on Throne of Glass, but I bought the third book, Crown of Midnight. This is from the Throne of Glass series from Sarah J. Mass. I Amazoned it because they never sell it individually at Barnes and Noble, so. I've been really liking it. Now that I read The Assassin's Blade, it's the prequel to Throne of Glass. You can read it with or without it, but it gives you so much context into Selena's character, so that's why I got it. Oh, there's something else in here. I got another SD card because I was going to vlog yesterday our hike in Griffith, but my SD card broke, and you're currently on my digital camera SD card, so I got a new vlogging one. What is next? Okay, so this is my West Elm Tencel bed sheet, and then I got Sham in the standard kind of like textured thing just because I lost one of them, so I have one pillowcase. So I just got an extra set just so I have it. And then this is the sheet set in the queen size because I had the full and it's too small for my bed. These are AirPod covers. So I got clear AirPod covers so my AirPods don't get scratched while I travel. They're rubbery ones. And then I got a tripod for car YouTube videos or whenever I just film anything in the car. Then I got silk pillowcases for my hair because I've heard that sleeping on cotton pillowcases can rip and cause and I also got new pillows because like I said, we lost a pillow somehow in this house. So I got the Hotel Collection pillows. I get them on Amazon. And yeah, now we have pillows. I can't wait to make more car videos, but not while I'm driving because obviously like eyes on the road. This can either hold an iPhone. Wow, this is like really grippy. Okay. All right, let's continue this hall upstairs. This is actually not a horrible place to film a makeup tutorial, now that I'm thinking about it. First things first, I got some things from Charlotte Tilbury. I got a restock of the Magic Cream, which I love, the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I love the Beautiful Skin Concealer. It's one of my favorites, so I'm excited to try that. This Multi Miracle Glow Cleanser Mask and Balm. This is really big. And the Collagen Facial Oil. I love this stuff, especially when I'm dribble plating my face. I just like throw this on. Pixie sent me some eye patches. I love eye patches. It makes everything feel much more luxurious in the morning. I also got this Too Faced Italian Spritz eyeshadow palette, which I'm very excited to try. And then if you see in the reflection that this camera is being held on, I got a body wash from Natrium. And I love these body washes. I feel like they're super yummy. And last time a friend came over, I gifted them my last one because they really wanted to try it. So I just gave it to them, but I'm happy now because I have another one. Oh, also, these hoops are from the M Jewels. I ordered them online and I also got a custom locket and I got a photo of me and Kyo to be inside the locket. So that's like a custom order. It takes a few weeks, but yeah. Also, I am going to the DVA office in about 35, 40 minutes because I'm doing a panel for int Kyo, watch your step. There's a knife down there. Watch your step, there's a knife. I, I was opening packages right now. So my little panel at DVA went so well. Me and my manager were just able to talk to everyone because my manager is like, she's partner at my management. So we did a really informational kind of panel. We talked about creator economy and like everything that's going on and how managers can better understand their clients and do impactful things with their clients and not just be transactional because something that is really important to me is always finding purpose in anything that 
I do. And I think my team does a really great job at supporting me in that because I never just want to do do and go partnerships with brands that aren't also positively impacting the world and obviously and having positive messaging. And we were talking about different brands that are doing such a great job at that, like Rare Beauty and so many different brands that also support different charities, organizations. And I feel like sometimes managers are really transactional where they'll bring you deals but there's no further strategy so we had a really cool talk about that and obviously I've been doing this for a really long time so I got to give people some insight and it was just really cool and I love sitting down with women and chatting and helping in any way that I can so it was really cool but I just quickly changed this is Brandy Melville and so is a sweater. We're gonna go to Erewhon and pick up some food for tonight. I just want something really nutritious and filling and yummy and I was like really in the mood for Erewhon hot bar, so we're gonna go. I got even more mail now that it's obviously nighttime. So this I feel like is really helpful for me. I got a vitamin storage thingy and it has daily so I will remember whether or not I've taken the vitamins for that day. And I also got a heating pad. I also got a heating pad for whenever I'm cold in the house or when I have cramps. I feel like that really helps. And I have one more. I got more Real Techniques sponge. Hi, so today has been a rest and reset cleaning kind of day, just getting my life together. So I spent the majority of the day just organizing around the house, decluttering, and also just getting rid of things that I don't use in my house. I feel like I have a lot of things. And anyways, my Nutribullet came in, as you guys saw. So we're finally gonna make ginger shots. I'm actually gonna pull up a ginger shot recipe to make sure I'm making this right. I think we're gonna need lemon, cayenne, and all the things. So I'm gonna pull up all of the ingredients and then I'll be back. Also, I did my hair. I'm gonna do a blowout routine YouTube video, just like a dedicated video so you guys know how I do it. I need ginger, lemons, cold water, honey, and you can add turmeric or cayenne if you want. So, also Kyo's cutting salami if you hear that. You're gonna need lemon, cayenne pepper, ginger. This is as much as I'm using. I don't know how much this is. I'm kind of just eyeballing this. I'm gonna cut this lemon in half. This lemon's almost too big for the squeezer. That's a lot of ginger, holy. Do you think this is enough lemon juice? <laughs> no, I do need some water. Like as much as I put in the lemon, high end. Do. That should be good. I'm thinking if I should add black pepper and Himalayan salt to this. I'm gonna put a little bit of Himalayan salt, not a lot. Then I'll put a little bit of black pepper, dash of black pepper, like literally nothing. And then a little bit of honey. Let's put this in the Nutribullet. This definitely needs more water. More lemon juice. Put a lot more water. We're gonna need to use the other lemon. This is such a chaotic like recipe video. <laughs> Sorry y'all. Put a little bit of honey just to balance everything. Mm -hmm. Do a quick little taste test. <coughs> I'm definitely adding more water. When I tell you this is spicy, okay, this is a lot of shots. All right, we have our ginger shot. I think we have to strain it though, because I think the ginger has hairs. Okay, now it's good. Okay, fresh squeezed and filtered ginger shots. This is all the ginger hair that was in that. It doesn't look like a lot because I really smushed it down, but I got these little shot glasses on Amazon. I got 24 of them, which is, I think, excessive. I'm gonna make as many as these fill and then it comes with this like lid thingy that helps facilitate the pouring. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Little ginger shot. Oh my god, Kiki, look! So cute! I'm not being dramatic, that was perfectly balanced. I don't even know how many of these I made. I made seven, there's one more down here. Finished result! Now I have ginger shots for the week. Did this take me 30 minutes, almost to an hour? Yes. Was it worth it? I think so. So, 
Good morning! I have a meeting with the Rare Beauty team at Sunset Tower, so I got ready. I'm wearing a denim on denim look. My turtleneck is my outfit online. I'm not sure where this jacket is from. I've had it for years, but I might switch it out for a Levi's one. But this one's cropped and distressed. And my jeans are from Meshki, and my shoes are vintage Dior. They're little kitten heels. And I do my makeup like this today. I did a little bit of faux freckles. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah. I'm excited. I've never met with a team before, and I think you all know this. I say this in interviews sometimes. I have looked up to Selena Gomez my whole life. When I moved from Cuba and was watching Disney Channel at the time, that's when Wizards of Waverly Place was like first starting, and I just remember watching her and just admiring her for so many years. So I'm excited to just meet with obviously her beauty brand and figure out ways we can do things together. I'm just excited. I also really like my outfit. Oh, and my earrings are Martha Calvo. Good morning, everyone. I woke up not too long ago. I did not sleep much last night, but I'm getting ready. I'm gonna go do some shopping. I wanna go to H&M because apparently H&M released a bunch of really cute new stuff. I want to go to Levi's. I wanna go to a bunch of different stores at Century City Mall, and then I think we might go to the Grove. I also wanna go to Aritzia and get a black denim skirt. So I'm just getting ready today. By the way, my top is from Lululemon. It just kinda lifts. The whole situation by the way i take this probiotic daily if you've probably seen in the blog this is amazing for your gut health it's just literally yogurt i always make sure this is the first thing that hits my stomach in the morning it just really helps with my stomach issues not that i have stomach issues but i feel like i get easily inflamed when i eat bread here or anything like that as we know america does not have the same regulations as everywhere else in the world the food here is pretty bad but I really like to take that because I feel like it's really helped with my stomach, my digestion. A lot of people ask me how I lost so much weight and it's literally just healing your gut and your body just starts to digest things better and process things better. Also, let's take a ginger shot from the other night. I've been taking these every day. It burns so bad. I just realized I don't have a chaser, so cheers. Oh, that was awful. That burns all the way down. There's no easy way to do that. I'm gonna use this Refi primer that I love. A lot of people have been asking me about Refi since it's such a newer brand. And I feel like every product they've released is so good. I haven't tried a bad product from them yet. Maybe I'll pop into Sephora. I wanna try their bronzer. So we'll do that. I'm gonna use this Dior eye cream situation for my under eyes. This is really nice and cooling. I wanted to make myself coffee this morning, but I think I'm just gonna get one at Century City. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Brow Wiz today for my brows. I'm gonna try and fill in my brows like OG way. I always start with the brow powder duo first. I haven't used this in so long. By the way, guys, last night I washed all of my makeup brushes and my sponges. I'm very excited to be using clean brushes today. I need to film an updated everyday makeup tutorial. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I haven't done a makeup tutorial on YouTube in so long. That's like not in a vlog. Sometimes I think about what YouTube would be if TikTok didn't exist. I feel like YouTube is never gonna go away just because this is where people are more vulnerable. You get to see my day to day life, like the good, the bad, the ugly, like when I wake up looking crazy. And I'm definitely more vulnerable on here than I am on any other platform. I, I've definitely started to be a lot more vulnerable on TikTok, but I feel like on YouTube, this is my safe space. I've grown up on here. So for me, it's like, it's not a weird thing for me to cry on here. Cause I feel like not everyone watches my YouTube videos. Like if you come to watch my YouTube videos, it's because you really love Love and care about me and are interested in like my like my day-to-day -day life and not just like the pretty highlight reel of my life so I feel a lot more comfortable sharing things that I deal with and struggle with on the daily rather than on TikTok where it gets pushed on an algorithm to like just anybody which is like really scary the more I think about that the scarier it is my videos just get pushed to people that don't know me don't like me don't follow me I don't know that gives me anxiety I'm still feeling the burn from the ginger shot. So I'm gonna grab my brow whiz and just fill in the top part of the brow here on the end. That's the one part of my brow that's like really sparse. All right, brows are filled in. I'm grabbing my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I feel like this is one of the better brow gels. I definitely wanna go get my brows laminated and tinted again just because it makes my life so much easier. I take so much time on my brows in the morning. For foundation today, I'm gonna to use the Makeup by Mario. I've been using this. I'm gonna mix it though with my sunscreen just because I don't want too heavy of a base. 
So I'm mixing like the smallest amount of the foundation into the sunscreen. I've been liking the Makeup by Mario foundation a lot. It's very luminous. I remember when I went to the dinner for when Mario launched it, he was telling me how it's not supposed to be outright dewy, but more luminous. So it doesn't feel like your makeup is literally falling off your face. I'm just gonna blend this into my skin. I'm also super excited for Coachella, by the way. I got my passes already. I'm excited. It's in a month. Coming out of Coachella, I never want to go to Coachella again. But then when Coachella's around the corner, I'm like, okay, I'm so excited. It's all I can think about. Just because it's such a fun time to hang out with your friends. And I feel like I haven't had time to just like party and listen to music with my friends in a while. Because Coachella, like there's nothing like it. You can't replicate it. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of other festivals out there. And I'm sure they're all great obviously like i love music festivals but the energy around coachella is just the best and blackpink is performing this year bad bunny is performing this year which is like so exciting i i don't think a latino's ever headlined coachella before so that gets me really excited i think i'm just gonna use the tart shape tape creamy i don't want to do too crazy makeup i have this one acne scar on this side of my face that literally never goes away i, I probably am gonna end up having to laser it off my face but i've never lasered acne but i've heard that's like what celebrities do and i kind of want to do it so i had lunch with the rare beauty team literally two days ago and they gave me so much product a lot of this product i already have so thank you but they sent me a bunch of the new blushes and i really want to try grateful it's a red blush and i've heard this looks phenomenal on brunettes we obviously got the mascara a restock of happy thank god because like, weirdly enough after two three years i'm out this is joy this was really pretty as well i got the primer i think I'm, i want to use this liquid lipstick today i got this liquid blush which is also so beautiful the bright awake honestly if i would have remembered this like two seconds ago as i was putting concealer on i would have put that one on but it's fine whatever i had the best meeting with the rare beauty girls we had lunch at sunset tower sunset tower is never super busy but we decided to get lunch on oscar's weekend so we went on friday it's sunday today by the way and it was full of celebrities like we it took me 30 minutes to valet because there were so many trucks coming in and unloading because what they do is like the oscars or whatever they'll rent out a bunch of rooms at the hotel because that's where a lot of celebrities will get ready to like get ready to head out to the oscars and there was so many people there and me and the rare beauty girls and isa my publicist were just people watching i saw emily radikowski in the flesh i had never seen her before she is so beautiful i didn't realize it was oscars weekend when we like scheduled this lunch but the food and the vibes at sunset towers are always really awesome it's definitely that old hollywood vibe have you guys ever seen those emojis where it's like the girly like sometimes i feel like i live in that kind of la and then i just like feeling like i'm in old hollywood-esque la it feels a lot better to me <laughs> this is my favorite brush ever the heavenly luxe from it cosmetics this is seriously the best brush to ever exist. Every time I do my makeup, I feel like I have to do it really rushed. So these kinds of days where it's no rush, take your time. I clean my brushes, like everything is nice and clean and ready for you. It's like so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna use Grateful. I'm not gonna use a lot, but let's try it. I'm very excited. Let's start with that, okay? And then just so grab my finger just to spread out the product. I'm gonna use this part of my sponge. Just blend it in. I've been also liking to do faux freckles. Wow, even this is like so much product. That's how that came out. Me thinking one dot was not gonna be enough. Does Rare Beauty ever get people repurchasing? Because I feel like you never run out of product, which is a great thing, by the way. Don't get me wrong. I'm going over this with my concealer just a little bit to blend everything out because it's a lot. Okay, I'm actually gonna use. I'm gonna use a little bit, okay? Because I really want to. I love the metallic thing. It's just so cooling. Okay, just a little. I'm gonna set my face. I feel like I'm just gonna go in with the one size powder because this is coverage galore. I've never fully set it with this powder before, so. Wow, this made my base honestly look so flawless. I'm a fan, okay. I have to set my lids, but I'm gonna do that later. Okay, by the way guys, the Grateful Blush looked beautiful on, but I accidentally used like a full coverage powder on top. So we're gonna layer 
a little bit of this Too Faced Sweetheart blush on top. I feel like it perfectly complements it. Just a tad bit, nothing crazy. I'm gonna do fake freckles. I'm obsessed with the fake freckle look right now, but this, I'm gonna keep using. And especially in the summer, like a red blush look always looks good. It makes you look bronzy and sun-kissed. I'm also gonna take my Rare Beauty highlighter. I'm sorry, y'all. Everything Rare Beauty is in front of me and I just, I can't help myself. I love Rare Beauty. So I'm gonna this just makes you look awake. I've said this for years. This is like my secret little trick. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose. Bridge. I've stopped putting highlighter here because I feel like it distorts your face. 2016 Amanda would never believe you if you ever said that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Givenchy powder and set my lid, so. Face is set for our lips today. I'm gonna use this Tarte Maracuja in Rosy Brown. This has become my favorite lip liner recently. I've just been wearing it so much. I'm gonna put a little bit of Rare Beauty in the middle. That looks really pretty, actually. Okay, I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty Liquid Eyeliner. I have it right here. And I'm just gonna make a little line. Baby wing, if you will. Okay, liner is done. I really want Rare to drop a brown eyeliner, though. I also got this Maybelline Sky High. Oh, it's doing a good job. That's cute, honey, in a hurry. I'm almost done. Look, I'm on mascara, this is the last step. What is that? Oh, the concealer? No. He's been eating a lot of processed sugar recently. He's been having, he's been having a lot of cereal, so he's been breaking out. So I don't really eat that stuff because my skin hates me when I do. It's feeling cute. I really want to go on a tropical vacation where it's not work it's not a brand deal it's not a work trip i just want to go i think to cabo or honestly anywhere and just be on a beach and relax i honestly just want to go to mexico with a group of friends and have the best time ever so I'll grab my spoolie just to take away any mascara that might have gotten on my lids full freckle time i use this mac bronzer okay now I'm gonna grab a sponge and just press it in just to fade it a little. Okay, fake freckles are done. And if you feel like it got a little dark on the under eye area, which sometimes like that happens to me, grab any kind of sponge or puff and just put a little, little twinge of brightening powder. I'm honestly gonna top this off with Rare Beauty mascara for that extra push volume and that is the make for today i just honestly took my sweet time so i'm gonna add a little bit of the lancome juicy tubes in the center of my lips okay bye for perfume today this is my new favorite scent this is solar power by fleur i just got this in the mail and i feel like it's gonna be my coachella scent for jewelry today i think i'm gonna do Simple little huggies from Martha Calvo. Okay, this is the final fit. I threw on this Lululemon jacket also that Kiel got me. So we're looking, we're looking very sporty today. Oh, and then also I have this vintage Fendi bag that I sourced from the Millennial Decorator on Instagram. And I'm wearing my Chanel sneakers. We made it! I got my coffee. We're going to Abercrombie and Fitch because I need to find jeans that fit my short little legs. We're at lunch. Look at all the bath bombs and all the products. I feel like I come here every few months and just restock everything. Does that smell good? No. <laughs> I did some shopping at Anthropology. I'll show you guys what I got, but we just ate at the food court. You're like walking backwards through the staircase. Now I got, I got scared for a second. <laughs> Guys, it's really cold. I'm glad I brought a jacket. But yeah, I think we're gonna go home now. So we made it to the Grove. I made a pit stop at Aloe. I got some sports bras. I'll show you guys later. And we're going to the Aritzia here to see if they have the skirt that I want. I feel like denim skirts are in like the midi ones. So I want a black one because I don't have a lot of black denim. We're back. This is all of the stuff 
that I bought at the mall. I guess I'll do a little haul for you guys, but I'll do it upstairs. I have to tidy up a little bit. So a little life update for you guys before we do the unboxing. I'm starting acting class tomorrow again, and I'm super excited just because I feel like that is my purpose. It's really what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I feel like obviously if you want to do something, you have to work for it. You have to train for it. And I think taking classes is the right step for me. And I feel like that's the one thing I'm doing right. So I'm starting tomorrow again. And I did Howard Fine's program a few months ago I don't know if you guys remember but because of my travel schedule a lot of work trips just came up halfway through me in the course and I couldn't say no to the opportunities because obviously they were great career opportunities but it conflicted with the thing that I wanted to do obviously for my future so thankfully for the next few weeks I am staying put here in LA I haven't been traveling actually for a few weeks so I'm excited to just take this time to really hone in on what I want to do and focus in class and learn as much as I can and I got an email two days ago because I was on the wait list for months and I was really praying that I was able to get a slot just because he is such an in-demand teacher and someone last minute canceled and I felt like that was divine timing and the dates just worked perfect because classes are Mondays and Thursdays and those are like the days in my week for the next six weeks that I'm not doing absolutely anything so I'm just so excited and so looking forward to it so I start class tomorrow so there's a lot of cleaning to be done in the house I did a bit of shopping just because I needed to pick up a few things just for work and things like that and I just wanted to shop I haven't gone to a mall in so long so yeah I guess I'll do a haul here so one of the first places that I went to was anthropology I got this candle it has an A on it and this is my favorite anthropology scent this is the night gardenia scent and I love this one also because my first manager ever in LA when I moved into my first apartment she got me a huge anthropology candle and I always wanted to remember what the smell was and it was that one and I now know that it's just very nostalgic for me and I picked up a few things and I did order one thing online I got mighty patches for my breakouts I got this vanilla scent my dermatologist is always telling me about this so I got the vanilla one and the rose in mini but they had to order it because they didn't have it in the store i got some smith's rosebud salve and i saw these really cool earrings that are like triangular so i picked that up as well i went to aritzia and got some sneakers i didn't even know they sold new balance they're like gray i don't know if you guys can tell but i have these in the beige ones so i got the matching gray ones because i feel like they go with like my gray sweatsuits i feel like i'm probably gonna wear these tomorrow to class and they were only 80 bucks New Balances, that's not a bad price because the resale is so crazy. I finally bought the Melina pant that everyone talks about. I got it in a four, so hopefully it fits me. And I got it in the short version because I'm very short. Yeah, I need to start buying things with the, like the S for short because I feel like I always have to cut my pants. I got this little top. I got the matching skirt, but we had to order because I didn't have my size in store. That's everything at Aritzia. And then I bought stuff at H&M, but I just told them to throw it in this bag to not waste paper. I got this cute little tank top. It has a bow in the center and it's really cute. I got it in gray. They only had a small. I kind of like these tops to be tiny on me, so I usually get them in an extra small, but I just got it in a small. And anytime I'm at H&M, I always get plain white socks for sneakers and stuff. Next up, I did go to Aloe and buy a few things. It's all the same though. I got this tank. I'm sure you guys have seen this on my Instagram. And yes, I did have this sports bra, but I lost it. So I got this in black, in white, and in gray, and in pink. I low-key didn't want to get this one, but I felt bad because the lady was ringing it up already and I was just like embarrassed and my anxiety took over and I just, I just paid for it. Yeah, because she went out of her way to like look for it because she thought, it, yeah. I just felt really bad. Next up, we went to Barnes & Noble. My to be red pile is so bad right now. Like, I really need to stop doing this. I got this book, The Fine Print, because I've seen book talk edits about the guy in this book, and I just, I got it. And then, I don't know if this is a series or how this works, but I also got number three, The Final Offer. I'm missing a book, but I couldn't find number two because I would have bought that one too, but. Next up, we have a major massive blush bag. There's a lot in here, honestly. I got a massage bar in the tin. This is the sleepy one. It's one of my favorite, most relaxing scents ever. Whenever I get out of the shower, I feel like I just shrivel up. I have really dry skin. Oh, this is the complimentary soap they give you. 
with your purchase. I got a rose jam body wash, a charity pot little massage thingy, a checkout. And then for bath bombs, there's a lot in here. I got this cute lavender one. I got Sakura, Sakura, I don't even know how to say that. I'm sorry if I like butchered that. I got a peach one. I got a cute bubble bar. This smells so good. Another massage bar. I get a bunch of these because my skin gets so dry, y'all. This has two bath bombs of this because this smells insane. This does not smell how it looks, but it smells really yummy. It's like a rose night thing. I don't know. Another bubble bar. This is a ladybug that Kia wanted. Another bubble bar. This smells so good too. And the lady was making them when we walked in. In here is a sex bomb. This is like the OG, you know? Smells really yummy too. All right, y'all, that is it for my shopping haul. I think I'm gonna end the vlog tonight here. It's 9.16, so I'm probably gonna go to bed around 11. So I'm gonna shower really quickly, tidy up a little once I get out of the shower, put everything away and, you know. Bye, y'all.